This video demonstrates some of the capabilities of the new 3D Point Cloud engine inside Trimble Business Center version 3.20. Here in the 3D view, we are looking at Point Cloud generated from the Trimble UX5 dataset. If you look at the properties, you can see how many points we are looking at. And uh, you can see that we have roughly about 10 million points in the project. With the new 3D Point Cloud Engine, uh, we have adopted the existing uh, deliverable generation and measurement capability like measure volumes, uh, surface, distance and angles into our 3D view directly to work on point clouds. So as an example, you can quickly measure a distance across this pit mine and see that distance is roughly around 480 meters. Also, we have enabled a polygon select command that works not only on point clouds but also on other objects in TBC. So by holding the left click and releasing it, we are entering the polygon select mode. And if we go around this rim quickly, we can select the point cloud that we want and we can remove anything that we don't want outside of the selection by selecting clip unselected. Also now we can uh, generate surface measure volumes on our selection. We can unclip all. Uh, also by selecting an area we can uh, create a new point cloud region. The notion of regions inside Trimble Business Center is very similar to the notion of layers. So region is essentially a layer on a point cloud. Here we have created a new region and it's uh, uh, created in our project explorer list. We can also choose to change the property of a region or color a region uh, differently. Uh, also, uh, there's a, a different abilities to render point clouds depending on whether you have a true color or a grayscale intensity from terrestrial laser scanners. Also, we can change the size of the points for a better appearance on the screen. In the user options, you can specify under the point cloud tab what is the maximum number of points you want to use for a surface definition uh, in volume measurement uh, and the maximum number of points you want to display at any time. This will allow you to work more efficiently with your software package because not always uh, you are going to need 1 billion of points in a surface definition. Uh, so you may want to optimize the time it's going to take by changing some of these settings. As an example, if I change maximum number of points in the display to 1, you will notice that the point cloud here uh, is down sampled and uh, only 1 million points is uh, selected. Similarly, for uh, creating surfaces uh, and uh, working with point clouds uh, further, so if you have a select surface and these are the members you're going to select to be generated in a surface uh, by selecting uh, the point clouds and number of surface points you can specify 5000 in this example and hit apply we can see a new surface is uh, generated uh, we can turn off uh, the point clouds to better see the surface and if you turn the point clouds back on, you will notice that some of the points in the point clouds have been skipped uh, due to the spatial sampling we did by selecting a lower number of points to be included in the surface. Uh, that concludes our video on the new point cloud engine inside Trimble Business Center version 3.20.